The Standard Bearers Islamic Organization has aired its 13th annual symposium in Ilomi, Kawa State today. The symposium tagged purposeful leadership, Nigeria at a crossroad, is aimed at ensuring that Muslims all across the globe understand and pursue purposeful leadership. And those leaders are pursuing those itemized goals. The Kawa State chapter of the Standard Bearers Islamic Organization has celebrated its 13th annual symposium in Ilomi, Kawa State. The symposium themed Purposeful Leadership, Nigeria at the Crossroad, was held at the former multipurpose hall, Fateh Ilomi, and it had in attendance diverse dignitaries of the Muslim community, Muslim faithfuls, and secondary school students. Purposeful Leadership, Nigeria at the Crossroads. The state coordinator of the organization, Malam Atiago, in his welcome address, expressed the importance of the gathering in light of the present circumstances in the country. He announced that the organization has brought together capable hands to do justice to the team and equip participants with the right knowledge. Some even believe that Islam does not have anything to do with humanity outside the four corners of the mosque. Why some find it difficult to even believe that a host of eminent scholars of Islam are of the opinion that voting in a multi-religious state like ours is allowed or even compulsory especially at a time like this, at a time when Muslims and non-Muslims are flexing mushrooms of who is more populous and who is more popular. Also, overwhelming number of Nigerians have lost interest in who becomes what due to the situation of every sector in Nigeria which has been collapsing before today and which is still collapsing up to this moment. This thereby caused a lot of distrust in all Nigerian political actors and the Nigerian electoral processes and system. But to clear these ambiguities, the organization found it exceedingly necessary to address these issues among Muslims and also address it and also address a lot of issues that can bring us together as Muslims and other citizens who have genuine feeling for our dear nation, Nigeria. In his keynote address, Dr. Saeed Afalabi Ashafa from the Department of Religious Studies, Oshun State University, Oshogbo, interpreted purposeful leadership in two ways. He clarified that a leader is said to be purposeful when he is either pursuing a personal purpose or a societal or organizational purpose. According to him, the constructs of purposeful leadership include moral self, vision, and commitment to stakeholders, noting that Nigerians should check the constitution for how the purposefulness of our leaders should be measured. He further urged everyone to build the quality of their lives as the quality of the followers determines the quality of the leaders. He also urged stakeholders to strive to reform the younger generation. The purpose of an organization is a cost strategy to achieve high performance from empowered so proposed leadership therefore means making decisions as part of an overall strategy to enable people to follow your lead. For us to know the purpose by which we can judge our leaders in Nigeria. The constitution says that they want us to be in unity and harmony as one indivisible and indissoluble sovereign under God. While delivering the lecture on the topic, the Islamic model of leadership, Alachi Abdurazak A. Abdusalam, popularly known as Abu Baba, asserted that Allah would not change the situation of a people unless the people change. He asserted that leadership in Islam is not authority, but rather it is a responsibility. He also quoted several stories from the Quran to drive home his lessons. Our laws are not known and understood by everybody. Only a select few understand the law and they can translate the way they like. The system of law in Islam is quite very clear. You have the statement of the law. That a grab That is statement. Statement of punishment. Clearly stated. If you are not married and you do it, what are we going to do to you? Hundred lashes. If you are married, what are we going to do to you? We we'll stone you to death. Is that not clear? Sir, you don't need the service of a lawyer in the Sharia court to interpret this. While addressing newsmen at the event, Dr. Amina Ahmad, who has been a two-time commissioner of Kawa State 
asserted that integrity is a strong link in having purposeful leadership. This country, Nigeria, we have good leaders, but the followers are the people that are bad. The leader has a very good intention for the country. Not that uh, the leaders don't give out what they are supposed to give. They will give it. But the people that are working under him, we embezzle. They will not give the right thing to the right people. Instead, in fact, they would prefer to share it within their own families. Where are we heading to? That is why our leadership in Nigeria has seriously been affected. She stated further that for Nigeria to experience true and viable leaders, we need to place the right people in the right office. Timeline Okunlola reporting for Milori.